Hi guys, my name is Paul Seraphine and today I want to show you something. I want I want to share with you something new. It's a bit a uh, small thing but it's complicated for a beginner. Um today I want to show you how to browse in a, in your specific browser. For example, here I'm using a Google Chrome as my searching browser okay here we go here we can learn today i want to share with you some two two things about two tabs which is a normal tab or a normal browser we can call it um number one i want to show you how to use how to use a, a new how to open a new tab a new tab means you can search your specific key, something whether you want to search or browse anything you know here you can just go to the right top corner of your browser you can there you can find three dots which is called an um, a Google Chrome customer customize um, there you can go and just click it left click it and um, then there you can find as you see as, as you can see there you can find a new tab if you want to show to add another tab in your browser then you click that you see as you can see here we have two different tabs um from the first step for example i can search something i can write something maybe i can write this one mock site news yeah already i've entered already yes as you can see that uh, that is the first step the second step the second tab I can browse or I can search another thing maybe I want where I, I, I want to go to YouTube here I can write YouTube YouTube there you go okay we'll find it um the aim of this video is to show you two different tabs or you may add it in either in different ways another way of adding it is just by co by clicking the two function key a control and a t tab and a t key as you can see um the new tab has been added in your browser okay let me close them and i want to share with you another thing which is today um a new thing a second thing is um incognito new incognito window a new incognito window is like a private window you know a private window when you want to go you you want some privacy in your browser you can use a new incognito mode as you can see here they have written that you have gone in an incognito means what you can browse privately and other people who use the device won't see your activity however downloads and bookmarks will be saved in this mode chrome your browser won't save the following information your browsing history your cookies and site data information etc entered in forms but your browser may save the following things website you visit your employer or school your internet service program. these people this 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 these people may may see your browsing history see all your activity you have been searching in an in an incognito mode for example here maybe at the same site um i can write 
mock site news dot blog dot com there I can enter it as you can see it has opened um when I go to the history of my browsing of my browser um here you can go control H okay okay as I told you before there are the history can't be saved here in an incognito mode you see okay let's close it yeah i can go and exit it okay in a new tab or a window tab that's i'm talking about that which one the first one which is different from the second one that which is an incognito model here you can find an history as you can see in history the following things have been saved the site we have been visited or the things that we have been saved have been saved in an history you see we can see the site that have been searched has been saved in an history in the this is a normal window or normal tab thank you guys and bye don't forget to share subscribe and comment in our YouTube channel, which is Mookie Tech Professional. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.